B. Jara Notorious, Inceptor Sergeant. With the help of a Livingston, as well as my men and I, the tankers as well as the sisters, are able to escape the literal jaws of death. Right before a massive rainstorm of heavy ordnance blasts the fucker back to space Australia. Once the sisters are out of harm's way, I make it a personal mission to make sure that everyone most especially the pantsless, heavy bolter wielding, sister of battle is alright. Take a moment to ask one of the other sisters her name beforehand. Apparently it's Olga. Spend several minutes making sure Olga is alright. Taking the time to remove my helmet and then talk to her face to face. The entire time, her legs are shaking and rubbing against themselves. Fear that she might be cold. Perfect opportunity PNG. Ask her if, after the war is over, she would like to go and get a cup of Rakaf with me. My face when I'm still waiting a full minute later for her response. Be me, Ekelshiaki youngster bishop, watching a humongous monster that apparently used to be human ripper man apart with his bare hands. While his fellow 7 foot monsters butcher orcs and loyal guts, dozens of heretics stare at my bride. The chaos marine's voice is horrifying. A booming echo from the warp describes his intention to slowly eat my bride and I alive. I want to go home. Jeff. I take a shot at him with my bolter, and he doesn't even seem to notice. I can't fight that. I don't even know how to fight that. I don't want to fight that. But I'm not alone. I've got my bride, my followers, and of course a god emperor of mankind. Still I'm not getting anywhere near that thing. Blessed not crazy dot chosen one. I command my followers to open fire on the former marines as the heretic guard runs forward. I one armed guardsman with a chainsaw leads the charge followed by others with axes and mauls. Others open fire, all focused on me, but it is all transformed into flashes of light by the blessings on my Rosarius. As they fall upon me I dig into one after another with my eviscerator. Even as I cut through them, doing my best to block for my bride, I pray to the emperor I don't lose more than another arm. Be me, good theory in the gut autolux a proud berserker of the sanctified. This is the most fun I've had since I got to this planet. And that's saying something, because we've all been having a fantastic time. The littles are charging the little priest and his bride in mass. Some of them are lacking in technique, but others are doing better considering he has a shield. Most importantly, they all seem to be having fun. We're going to miss poor orc arms though, that guy was a riot. Good effort dot heresy. Me and the other bigs are about to step in when the wedding party starts raining grenades on us and opening up with the most impressive assortment of weapons I've ever seen normal humans wield. They don't look like nobility, so the little priest must be a really generous guy. The grenades don't do much to me and the other bigs. They mostly just clear out what's left of the orcs and let us turn our attention to the wedding party. The bolt arounds, plasma bolts, and barrage of melter fire is a slightly different story. Respect.jpg. I really like these guys. Killing them is going to be a blast. B Palatine Sarah. That orange head bitch left us behind in this shithole. Scramble out of the cathedral with the rest of the sororitas as soon as the orcs give up on trying to get in. Find the groom. Might be a little skeptical about his natural divinity but he's a bishop and I'm a sister of the Ekelshiaki. So by the emperor I'm gonna deliver him safe. He's fighting chaos marines. Oh no you fucking don't. That's what we're here for. Last thing I need is him getting himself killed fighting traitor marines with nothing but a lick and a promise. Draw both guns while sliding down a pile of rubble. Drop three of the lost and damned with headshots. It's high noon, Mythurficus. Be Becky, non queen. My plot is in ruins, like my poor Biartitan. What a stupid way to die. There is just way too much shit going on in here. Just have my underground assault force descend down into the underground and lurk in the growing sewer system of this place. Okay, you cows win this time, but I will return, because I've always been here, waiting deep below the surface. Maybe you'll all come to me and visit for dinner. Be writer of Fessus and friends, as well as some blood ravens too. Come up with a cool idea of then trying to suffocate the biotitan with the incredibly smoky tankers, smoke grenades and other sorts of thing. Try to post it on the tray him from work. Get banned for a crime I didn't commit on a board I've never been to. By the time I am able to post again, it's already over. I am incredibly fucking livid. Be me, the best seneschal in the Ekelshiaki. Burned, bit, and scarred now but apparently these maniacs consider that a good thing. Now that I'm in with the big shots maybe I can get one of their laundry ladies to do some actual surgery and clean me up. Too handsome to be ugly. JPEG. Decked out in some sweet gear now though, and some of these Ekelshiaki girls are pretty cute. 
I could get used to this. If the governor's whore of a daughter can become some sort of holy princess, maybe I could. Wait no dot gif. Then the fucking chaos marines showed up. Next thing I know the little psycho and his reformed turbo ho are swarmed with cultists and the marines are looking at us. Governor's whore of a daughter is waving around a fucking power sword, destroying chain weapons left and right but they're still getting swarmed. I knew she could take on a lot of guys, but I've never seen her do it with a sword. Innuendo.gangbang. Our guys are throwing enough expensive ammunition at them to take down a titan but they're still coming. There is even some sort of gothy bolt a bit shooting guys left and right, but these are chaos marines. Well, I shouldn't say our guys. The bishop's guys. I didn't sign up to fight cannibalistic avatars of war. Nice meeting you guys. Have fun dying. I'm out of here. Sorry not sorry dot retreat. E me. Calibite Drazer. Be back in the gunner's seat of a new raider. Kinda disappointed that I missed before, but proud I at least hit something. The crew is also okay with me missing. Fuck if I know why. On our way to our next target. Well, targets. Some Imperial forces are being chased by Tyranids and the Arkan wants to cripple two forces in one blow. Make some stupid fucking analogy about being the blade that slices the throats of two. Just like a craft worlder. Cunt. Anyways we're now in visual range of the column. Easily keep pace with the primitive tanks and bioforms. The Witches requisitioned some heavy shit, namely some dark lances, and by requisitioned I mean they stole them from the Trueborn. Fuck yeah dot ravager. Sight down some big tyrannid that looks like a mountain of claws and anger. Fire into it with front cannon. Through and through. Good hit. It turns and roars at me. Fuck gain. Hit. It's charging now. Shoot again. Hit. It's not slowing down. Full speed. What no? We speed up. Shock prowl lights up. Oh fuck. Plow into the thing full speed. It damn near carves the thing in half. Blood everywhere. Laugh like a madman. We move into the next big thing. Doing the same thing as before. By the laughing god this is great. The succubus is standing next to me. Pretend not to notice. She looks like she wants to say something. Has that cute I mean weird face. She nervously throws some gas grenades at the lesser tyrannids below. She finally turns around, puffs put her chest and speaks. Calibite, would you like to? She gets cut off by a big gas tyrannid roaring. Like holy shit that's monkey titan sized. We weave around it and turn out guns to bear. Then it fucking explodes. Lesser nids in retreat. Orders mom? The succubus seems surprised that I spoke to her. She looks behind us and sees the dozen or so raiders and ravagers. Ravagers swoop overhead. Fucking Tantalus leads the charge. Imperial armor column is a ways ahead of us. Allow the rest of our force to catch up. But not too much. We're gonna be the first. We pull alongside the Tantalus. The Arcan and Succubus talk a bit. I think he's hitting on her. Just like him. Cunt. Succubus is having none of this. Says some choice words and turns around. Suddenly she gets this look. She turns back to the Arcan. And turns to me. Is she gonna order me to shoot him? Because I'm down for that. Before I can ask she grabs both sides of my head. And kisses me. For like 5 fucking seconds. Drizza.exe has stopped working. Please shut down and try again later. Arkan sees this. Arkan throws his grab back and laughs like a fucking maniac. We always need more Trueborn. Raider speeds up and away. Fucking stupefied and a bit scared. What is this fucking planet? What is going on? What? Be me. Good theory in the gut autolux a proud berserker of the sanctified. Now this is a wedding. The bride and groom are really inspiring. I mean, they are a really cute couple but total opposites in a lot of ways. I mean, he looks like some good boy teenager and even I can tell that she's way too hot to be so pure. But they're making it work. Watching them fight together while they're swarmed by the littles is actually impressive. He's killing whoever he can while trying desperately to protect her, but she refuses to stay out of the fight and keeps destroying chain axes with blocks from her power sword. Relationship goals. JPEG. The bridal party is pretty impressive too. They're more accurate than any guard unit I've ever run into, though obviously the great kit helps. They actually managed to take down one of my fellow bigs with focused fire, and cripple another one. Unfortunately, they didn't have bigs of their own to teach them tactics. A bunch of them go down to a spray from one of my brother's bolters because they were grouped so close. They also don't seem to realize what they're up against, because they seem absolutely shocked when I charge into them and start slicing away with my chain axe. They probably didn't know how fast marines are. Someone really should have given them better guidance. 
These Imperials just don't understand things like mentorship and brotherhood. Stronger together. Warp. To their credit, even maimed they keep shooting. It doesn't keep them from dying though. One of them stands out. Some confident seeming gal in a snappy black number with a pair of pistols. She looks delicious, but my brother with the bolt it calls dibs and unfortunately rules are rules. Broco. Heresy. Be me. Pretius Orgelon. Driver for the Broken Shield's Predator Tank. Defender of Hope. Get orders more than an hour beforehand. To make my way through the streets. And clear out any chaos armor along the way. Best fucking job. Pred. Along the way, I pass by the chapel where the bishop was having wedding. It's fully understand siege and falling. Those fuckers were supposed to have evacuated hours ago. Stop for a moment as a brilliant idea begins to form. Cool aid man. Hollow. Rev the engines and charge straight through the closest intact wall. Wall comes crashing down atop traitor forces as I begin opening fire with a mixture of auto cannons and heavy bolter shells as debris comes crashing down atop traitors. Fucking glorious temple is now ruins. Not my problem. JPEG. Pretty sure I heard someone shit themselves from in here. Bfessus. Escape from giant nid worm thing. Watch as decorous girlfriend flies towards the nid by herself. Watch as they both get blasted by greatest fireworks display I have ever seen. Goddamn this is what makes being in the guard worth it. Too bad I am not in it anymore. Oh well. I guess I can't complain too much. So. Now what? A lot of the major threats have been dealt with. The space marine we were following is making moon eyes with one of the sisters. I guess, we're free to go. Maybe we should check on Decorous. Since the only person who knows where he has just died again I guess we'll just have to look for him ourselves. And kill whatever we find on the way. It is only after we've gone 5 blocks, that I notice we've still the got the two tankers full of our tagalongs, tagging along. Whatever. JPEG. B Sergeant Thorn. The entire city is crumbling around me. The ground is littered with slag and corpses of all faction anyone can imagine. The titans in the distance are either in ruin, still fighting, or falling back. The streets are still swarming with the enemies of man though we are getting the city under imperial control. Everything is looking up until we informed that fucking traitor marines are attacking the bishop. Company captain orders my squad and several others to make a mad dash to their location and kill any traitors along the way. Black Templar Rage Mode. Dawn. We shoot, slash, burn, and push our way to the bishop's location where we witness our captain sacrifice himself to place a deep strike beacon so our terminator and aggressor brothers can clear the entryway. With vengeful furry I can down the door for my squad and a few other imperial fist squads to rush in and engage the traitor's marines in melee. Look for the leader of these heathens to challenge to melee combat. We'll do dawn proud dot fist. Be me, Ekelshiaki youngster bishop. And this is too much. The emperor marked me to let or to inspire. I'm not a space marine. I'm not even like the sisters of the ermine mantle. Even if my invincibility holds up, where would that leave my bride? I can't be without her. What if I've been corrupted? What if my lust or the fact that I keep throwing myself into battle made my unworthy of the emperor's blessing? Where did I go wrong? Heresy. But I'm with the most wonderful woman in the galaxy, and if I am to die it's going to be by her side. We're being overwhelmed by heretic guardsmen revving chain weapons, but she keeps fighting by my side. It actually is working as well as it could. She keeps destroying their chain weapons when she parries with her power sword and then it gives me one more easy kill with my eviscerator. Power couple. Gif. We've killed dozens but they're still coming, and the marines are easily tearing through everyone else even as they take all the fire the Ekelshiaki can muster. But every one of these monsters we kill is a victory for the faithful and the Imperium. If I have sinned and failed the Emperor, I pray this death will redeem me and I can still enter the Emperor's Legion with my bride at my side. Marta.png. Just then, a wall collapses, a massive marine tank crushing one of Korn's monsters under its treads. It tears into the crowd of traitor guard, quickly tearing through the crowd. I move to shelter my bride and pull away from the bullets, my Rosarius taking care of stray shots. I hear more explosions from the front of the cathedral, and then more marines crash through the entrance. But they aren't like the monsters trying to kill us. They're almost glowing with the emperor's holy light. The emperor protects dot scripture. I haven't failed the emperor. He's sent his angels of death to save my bride and I. Of course I didn't do anything wrong. Aquila dot chosen one. Be me. Pretius Orgelon. Driver for the broken shields predator tank. Defender of hope. With the arrival of both myself and a group of teleporting black templars. The chaos forces are in complete disarray. 
Score 1 for the good guys. Whilst the Black Templars engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat, I casually stroll my tank towards the bishop and the survivors, and lower the boarding ramp. You've got 30 seconds to fit in, or I'm leaving without you. A little bit of a timer to keep them on their toes. Even still, I continue to use the auto cannons and heavy bolt spansons to lay waste to any heretic crazy, or stupid enough, to try to get into close range of my beauty. Makes me miss the wife.png. Be me, you me Makumitan. This air has been a bad day. The finger amork was blocked. The boys has been crumped by Yumi's and spiky boys. It's even lost me squig. Zog it all dot pn grot. Is still beneath the Yumi truck. Me back is erty. But is dead art, and keep quiet. The wag. Is crumped. Yumi's was harder than we think. But is not dead yet. Drop from Yumi truck. Is leg it take cover. Still too sneaky for grots dot gif. The Yumi's are they one dis storm. Yumi Makumitan is gone. But the spooky jit has come. Put on me spooky sneak gear. Purple as night. Is will be air. A shadow in the night. A whisper in the storm. A beacon of the wag. Fair dem Yumi's. Is gonna sneak fair now. But is gonna be back. Is still a command orc. Is still got me my son. Be Fessus. Be walking along the, the city streets trying to clear it and look for decorous. Our tanker ran out of fuel so we had to leave them where they were. Had to physically drag Marcus out myself. Our tagalongs are still with us. Why are they even still here? Okay, I get why the Gordsmen are following the stormtroopers, but why are the goth sister and the frontier world a cowgirl here? You would think patrolling the streets would be more exciting. Nope, everything dangerous has either died or fucked off. All that's left are random straggles who didn't get the memo. So now it's my job to babysit a bunch of bored soldiers. Yay. Alrighty partners I spy with my little eye. Something I I'm grey. Or what? You can't bloody do that. That's bloody bullshit and you know it. What do you mean? Everything here's bloody grey. How am I supposed to find a grey object in a grey landscape? It's as grey as my weary soul. I thought you all said it was black. I am in a really good mood. Well anyways Horn. Fears like. 50 shades of grey. Fear not all the same. Well then say what bloody shade of grey it is and not just grey then sweetheart. Alright, I spy with my little eye something ash grey. Oh yeah bloody doing this on purpose errand you woman. I hate. My. Life. Be me. Good theory in the gut or a proud berserker of the sanctified. And this is easily the best wedding I've ever attended. Normally, I'd have a talk with the marine who crashed a tank through the wall crushing my bolter buddy. Crash airs stick together dot rules. But in this case, it's just livening things up. The auto cannon doesn't mean much to me, and when he lowers the ramp our littles race up it to fight the marine inside. Meanwhile two of my fellow bigs start tearing into it with Meltus. Its weapons and treads will be slag in no time. Armor is for sissies. Chain axe. More imperial marines crash in through the front door and start engaging with my brothers in melee. My fellow bigs form a choke point at the entrance to prevent being overwhelmed and engage with the imperials one after another. Most of the priests retinue lays dead or dying. They put up a good fight. I haven't been this hurt in centuries, but it won't make a difference. Still, it's not just about winning and losing. It's how you play the game. Sportsmanship.heresy. I'm really disappointed to see the priest and his bride trying to pull back from the fight now that the marines have arrived. You don't run away, even in the face of an agonizing death. You leave it all on the field every single battle. Corn taught me that dot heresy. Where are you going little priest? You don't think you're just going to abandon your guests, do you? We haven't even eaten yet. I stomp through the remains of the wedding party. Time to formally introduce myself to the happy couple. Be me, Ekelshiaki youngster bishop. The monster is talking again. Listening to it is even worse than looking at it. Its voice is like evil trying to charge into your ears and shatter your soul. Plus it's really loud. I push my bride behind me as it marches towards me. I think about using my bolter, but it's on top of me instantly bringing its axe down on me. I raise my eviscerator to stop him, and somehow it works. He keeps pushing down, the chain axe passing right through my reserius and getting closer to my face. Its strength is unreal. I feel like my replacement arm is going to give out. Just then, my bride moves from behind me and swings her power sword at the blocked axe. Between my eviscerator grinding against it and her sword, the thing shatters in two. Power couple dodgif. The thing looks surprised. Then it looks happy. It's smiling from ear to ear. I cut into it deep with my eviscerator, but it just keeps coming. 
be me, the best seneschal in the Ekelshiaki. Hit the armory on my way out, did some more looting. Thank you Ekelshiaki. The emperor provides .png. It's getting away with my hall that's a problem. I tried everything, but there is no way out. The other exits are on fire or full of straggler cultists and orcs. Tank bay is on fire, and fire is spreading through the rest of the building from those explosions. Even the drop from one of the windows onto spiky corpses and fires looks like a sure way to die. I hate this planet.jpg. Think about sitting tight, but this whole cathedral is starting going to be on fire soon. I'm not dying like a rat in a corner. Besides, maybe that little runt really is blessed by the emperor. I mean, that wife of his was certainly blessed by Slanesh. It could happen. MP3. It's insane in the chapel, but not as bad as I would have thought. Most of my former co-workers are dead or at least in pieces. There are marines fighting chaos marines and a quickly melting tank with heretic guard racing into it. Yet somehow, that little creep and his whore are still alive. Though, not for long. He's trying to fight off that terrifying chaos marine, who seems to have lost his axe. But still that kid is doomed. But actually, I'm not sure that's a good thing. My meal ticket.jpg. Load a crack shot into the launcher I looted. Aim it at the monster's back. Here goes nothing. Be me. Dratheratix. Be hurting. Be aching. Get up. Feel my chest. I've been shot. Gif. Freaking out MP3. Not dead. Not yet. Look around. Surrounded by corpses. Cathedral is booming with noise. Scamper inside. Instant regret. PNG. Biggins and Littles are being massacred. Marines and Loyal Guard are wading into a bloodbath. It's going down. Wonder how I'm still standing. Realize, I'm still wearing Loyal Uniform. They think I'm PDF. I might be able to lay low and wait for this to blow over. Hear a sound of tearing metal. Look over. See the gut. See the couple. See the cunt aiming at the gut. Number. Not today. Start running. That what with the launcher doesn't see me coming. Take him from behind. Knock off his aim. Have icebreaker in hand. Struggling to keep this prick down. I can feel the sights of the loyalists on me. I still have a chance. Throw icebreaker. Call out. Get M gut. Crashes forever. Befesus. These broken streets. Filled with the dead. My hollow heart. Way down like lead. For those fallen. A tear I shed. But none for me. I am already dead. Why? That was beautiful mom. Simply beautiful. I had no idea you were such a poet as well. We have to be. It's one of the requirements to join the sepulchre. You know, I myself dabble a bit with the wordsmithing from time to time. Would you care to hear a demonstration? It love to Mr. Philip. Oh please, Mr. Philip was my father. Rest his poor soul. Please just call me Phil. Anyways this piece has to be shouted to get the full effect. Ahem. A world once cold, now bathed in holy flame. I spy with my little eye. Oh come on hon what's the matter? No, you're just gonna keep pulling this same shit you bloody cheater. Oh come on Mark I was just having a bit of fun, I don't mean nothing by it, it was just a little bit of joke. Dut. Oh come on, please. Oh alright what do you see? I spy with my little eye. Something. Yep something. Yep something. Broken. Oh bloody hell. A threat so bold. With wrath and anger came. Hey dude, I betcha 20 thrones I can't hit that window from here with a rock. Oh no way dude you're on, watch me bitch. Crash, what the fuck, pay up sucker. But be you sure, when banner stands unfurled, 99 guardsmen holding the line, 99 guardsmen hold. One gets shot in the head, ends up dead. 98 guardsmen holding the line, that nevermore, shall our foes plague this world. Whoa, that wasn't all that bad for a self-proclaimed amateur. Simple, but you could really feel the emotion behind it. Oh please Miss Maria, you're making me blush. No seriously. And just marry us fine by the way. Hey Lloyd, I betcha 20 thrones too. Done. This is my life now. Be me. Good theory in the gut autolux a proud berserker of the sanctified. And I am ready to eat. The little priest actually manages to block my swing. Orc arms really would have liked that arm of his. Of course, it wouldn't have mattered if not for that gal of his slipping around his side to destroy my axe. Honestly, the love between the two of them and the way they work together is just adorable. I sincerely hope their skulls are placed next to one another on the skull throne. It won't save them from getting ripped apart with my bear. What dot gif? An explosion hits my shoulder pad. No big deal, it's heavily armored. 
It must be all the shots I took from the wedding party, but I actually lose my balance and fall forward right onto his eviscerator. Did I have too much to drink dot blood? I'm shocked, but then I'll look back and see my little taking out the last of the priest's wedding party. I give him a thumbs up as I rip the little fellow's armor plate and robe right off of him. Yoked dot warp. I smile as he tries to use all of his might to pull the eviscerator through me. He's got a funny birthmark. Kind of looks like a manta ray. It looks delicious. I bite into his chest, getting a mouthful of his birthmark and swallowing a big chunk. Delicious dot heresy. I'm about to have another bite when I feel him pull the eviscerator up and through my cheek. Collapse as I feel my shoulder separate from my neck. It was still a great party. Be Sergeant Thorn. The berserkers are pilling down on us trying to stop our progress. The cathedral now represents the planet it's located on with everything on fire and combatants all over the place. It also reflects the insanity of this hellhole when the bishop and his wife manage to break the head heretic's axe. Suddenly see some traitor guardsmen tackle one of the bishop's servants and shouts words of encouragement at the beast. However this distract him for just a few moments. Now is my chance. Dawn. I managed to force my way through the remaining berserkers and summon the terminators and aggressor units outside and charge at the head heretic. I must look like one of my deranged brothers in the black templars due to the shot covering my armor and me shouting for the emperor at the fiend. It also didn't help that I was finally able to initiate melee combat with the brute. Be me, Sybarite Drazer. Moving up dot drugs. Orders came from Arkhan to scout the ruins of the city. For some fucking reason that is beyond me. Sent in with small squad of 5 calabite. The succubus, Kalith as I now know her, was not happy. Still don't know what her deal is. Anyways, we make our way through the city after covering our venom with camo fields. The only way anyone will ever find it is if they walk into the damn thing. As we move from rooftop to rooftop I hear some guttural monkey speech. Now, I always showed initiative and took time to learn the language. Vect sass what I hear is horrid. A female is trying to recite poetry and they call us edgy. Looking over the side, I see something truly heartwarming. Suffering. The guardsman looks as if he would rather be dead. We laugh quietly at him and move on. I'd have been better off shooting him and that damn squad. Gut is gone. The big ones are gone. Littles are gone. Be me. Grafter. Be alone. Feth them all. JPEG. Fet all of them to the warp. Heresy. Little twat still beneath me. Get up. Smash my new boots into his teeth. Finally breaking them and dot JPEG. Eyes are wet. Only most of it is blood. Miss my big brothers dot PNG. Not going to end like this. Run. As fast as I can. See your calm. He's gone too. He won't be carrying his chain axe anymore. I'll carry it for him. Carry it for all of them. Lift the weapon. Angry. Pissed. Maybe dying. Body is stronger than I thought it could be. Bring down the axe hard. Actually managed to gun the engine. Floor. Already reeked from explosions. Tanks. Orcs. Battles. And fethal. Breaks. Fall down. It's all dark below. Doesn't matter now. I'm the last crasher. Crashers go forever. Be Palatine Sarah. Spit on the corpse of the big traitor marine with the bolter. I serve the emperor's justice. And he has no mercy to give to chaos. Turn back. Fire my last shot and either gun at the fat one. They hit home, as if there were any doubt. I am an instrument of the god emperor's vengeance, and I fire with his own aim. Steam rises from the holes they left from the consecrated silver of the bullets. He doesn't seem phased, still fighting with the bishop and his new wife as if he didn't notice. Still cut off from the black sepulchre repentious. Draw the big catachin bowie knife from my armor's belt. Charge the new weds in the big brute with the intention to gut him. Get halfway there before something hits me straight above the armor. Eyes dart over. See one of the traitor guard wrestling the seneschal to the ground, his arm outstretched. His knife is buried a few inches into my neck. Fuck. Fall straight to the ground. Look up in time to see the bishop lop the head straight off the fat traitor marine before I pass out. Not bad. Be canonous. Currently underground. Between the giant burrowing tyrannid, St. Bridget and the bombardment, the street suffered a critical failure in its ability to support a 20-ton tank. Who could have figured? When I find out who it was that called an artillery strike directly on the Pentagon, and by extension me, I'm either going to give them a medal or have burned to death on the spot. Haven't decided yet. Climb out the side door of the repressor, into the understreet sewers. Dust myself off. Heard something about Necrons down here. That'd be just our fucking luck. 
Yell for somebody to get up top and make sure Bridget isn't permanently dead. Be me, Eccleshiarchy youngster bishop. As I cut through the monster and it collapses, it feels like reality snaps. Grab onto my bride for balance as I try to keep from collapsing myself, dropping my holy eviscerator onto the blood covered floor. Here the imperial marines start to overtake the traitors. The crowd goes wild. M page 3. Look to that goth chick that was helping me and distracted the other chaos marine. She's got a knife in her neck. Look towards my followers, dead or severely wounded. The seneschal is separated from the rest of them. A crack launcher laying at his side. He's being killed by some guy in a PDF uniform. Martyrs.rip in peace. Try to lift my bolter to save him, but my arm has stopped working. Watch as the PDF soldier picks up a massive axe and escapes through the floor. Can't hold up my body anymore. Slowly drift to the ground while holding onto my bride. Look down at my chest. There is a gaping bite wound where my aquila used to be. Birthmark dot gone. Look my bride deep in the eyes as I feel myself passing out. Tell her how much I hate corn. Be future commissar. Get word that the bishop was getting attacked by cornet berserkers when the battle was finally calming down. Oh shit dot vox. Both versions of myself along with the sisters, stormtroopers, and whatever zealots we could find to rush up to his location. When god they were surprised to find that some blacked out imperial fists have secured the location. Then we learned from the sergeant in charge of them that the fucking bishop cut off the head of a cornet marine. Stated it was probably the most impressive thing he saw. Holy shit dot emperor. There are still heretics, xenos, and probably some demons out there, which are likely to increase in number give recent events but that's to be expected on this shithole. At least the after party was great for our somewhat victorious stance though the city rubble killed about a few thousand people. Even managed to find one of those deserting stormtroopers who actually just became blood ravens pseudo scouts. Didn't have the heart to balum them that and the magpies actually gave some of our shit back so kinda don't want to piss them off. But the original me decided to punch him in the face as punishment and told him to punch the others in the face for us. Was pretty funny. Can't really complain about the planet I ended up on despite my armor and jacket turning black due to the shot. That was until I noticed mine and the other version of myself's helmets gone. We were both horrified to find one copy with some blood raven, and the other helmet with a fucking necron overlord. Fucking magpies. Fucking robot space skeletons. B Palatine Barbastella. Push through the retreating chaos infantry. Quite literally in some cases. Separate a fair few traitors from the misconception of life with my source ward. Find the bishop, unconscious and cradled by his bride, bleeding from his chest. Roughly two pieces of a chaos marine next to him. The gunslinger palatine is lying not too far away, an unpleasant amount blood pooling around her. The seneschal is rolling in the dirt clutching his mouth. The few remaining guardsmen look quite shell-shocked. Signal for the Black Sepulchre sisters to tend to the wounded. Admittedly, acceptance of the illusion of life does not make for the best medics. Still, they should be able to stabilize them. Pause near the fat traitor marine's corpse. Hear a faint sound not unlike the muffled screaming of a Gretchen. Order a perimeter established in case the orcs are still nearby. Be Sister Charlotte. Somehow be alive. Oh great, Therese is alive too. Why did she have to live and not pour up? Jane? Janice? Whoever the fuck that was. I guess Lydia and Hannah are alive too. And some girls who were younger than me and Scholar, so don't give a shit. But now we're underground. Fuck me I'm a little claustrophobic. Don't let Connie see me sweat. We start looking for a way out. Oh god I think I can still hear Tyranids. It sounds like they are burrowing further down, but I still fucking hear them. Grab my melter like sister Charlotte grabs cock. Wait. Fuck. No, I'm Sister Charlotte. Grab it like whatever, I'm too nervous. Suddenly we come across some big glowy green door thing. My face when me and Therese see this dot vox. Want to ask if we can try another way. Possible Tyranids is better than certainly this. The Necrons will flay us all regardless. The Tyranids will probably try and eat Olga first if she's still around. I bet fucking Lydia lives, she's barely worth dessert. Be Sergeant Thorn. Just when I thought nothing could surprise me anymore several things happen. First, the bishop's servant actually managed to fire off a rocket at the heretic before getting overwhelmed. But that pales in comparison to what the bishop did next, which was fucking decapitating the marine. Me and all the other sons of dawn around me just stood there shocked for a moment that some bishop who looks like he should be in school managed to cut off the head of a cornet marine who might 
have been around since the Horus Heresy. The only reason people even believe this story is because I am a space marine sergeant of a first chapter. This fucking kid should have been a good damn chaplain. Actually come to think of it, it might still be possible to make him a space marine. All the other chapters are thinking about it. He clearly proved himself. Plus he might still be young enough. All I have to do is make sure the magpies don't steal him first. Only the finest recruits for the Sons of Dawn. I'm Bridget. Still. Or again. Still getting used to this whole resurrection thing. Really hoping it doesn't work like cats because if it does I'm down to 5. Go to remember to ask Hospital Atamsin about those Ultra Mario lives. Or, the Bishop? The Canonus? Does a living son go to doctors or religious figures for her medical questions? But really, ouch. Find myself on a rough tarp. Pretty content to just lay here a minute or two. Or 60. Maybe just a quick nap. See one of those flying elder boats go by. Heading out of the city. An elder boy and an elder girl are kissing. AWW. That's the cutest thing ever. Wait. Elder are bad. Wait. The sisters. Have to see if they're okay. Hop over the side of the building and glide down. The giant tyrannid is still there. Dead. It's back half still running under the street. Underneath the face down evil titan. Big holes in its body and craters all over the street. Okay, so that was for sure artillery and not some secret saintly make everything explode power I didn't know I had. Marines are raiding the titan. It's still mostly intact except for the legs. Can't see the sisters. Hope they just drove off during the battle. Head off in the direction of the cathedral. And remember, keep your war gear on lockdown. Blood ravens have been spotted. I requested to know why there been no exterminators from the inquisition. Ordomalius representative picking his teeth. Dunno. The orbit crawls with battle barges from all sorts of astarts battle barges, sororitas, elder, necrons, tau, and imperial cruisers. One astarts battle barge is half painted in imperial fist and blood raven regalia. What kind of warp sorcery is this dotages? It looks like the blood ravens are up to their shenanigans. Therefore deployment will subsequently be with minimal reserves and no dread knight support. I'll be lucky they don't gift themselves my sacred terminator armor. Will be deep striking via teleporter. Nemesis sword. Storm shield. Storm bolter with blessed ammo. I am Marcellus of the Grey Knights, and my squad and I will kill all the chaos. Be me, bishop's wife and hopefully not widow. Babe storms into the fucking chaos space marine. Absolute madman actually does it dot what the fuck. That guy is pretty swole, even for, that is at least terminator armor he is wearing and I could swear the axe just popped an eye and looked at me. Charge with him. Try my best to help him. Even cut off his axe todgeter with babe marines gets hit falls. Right into babe's giantus chainsword. Pushes trough. Marine gets torn apart. Still gets to simply rip a giant piece out of his armor like it's paper. Bits a chunk out of my babe. Gets torn apart and while smiling all the time like a nerd light on rot father day. Pull babe crying out of the danger zone. Tell him everything will be alright. We truly are best couple there and we dot tragic. You can't die now. You are mine forever babe. Never leave me alone. Yeah, I hate those corn fucks too. Do something I did last when I was 6. Fold my hands to the aquila and pray. Be decorous. Still be in hospital. There was quite a lot of hullabaloo going on. Gravity have started tilting a bit. But it seems like now it's all over. The room's pretty nice. Can't complain too much. Still kind of bored though. Hollow vision ice not working. Probably because the communications got knocked out. Still got books though. Let's see Cyphus Kane Hero of the Imperium. Life and Trials of Clytus. Hiva Stray Nashoro oh, that looks interesting. It's got a naked lady on the cover. Must be artsy or something. Let's give it a crack. Oh. Oh. Oh that's lewd. And heretical. How did that get here I wonder. Let's just put that back. Suddenly hear a bunch of commotion outside my room. Must be some new arrivals. Somebody walks into my room. It's the commissar. Uh oh. Instead of just shooting me he slowly walks towards me while jivying me a death glare. Till he's at the side of my bed. And punches me square in the nose. You worthless scum sucking. Grok's fucking maggot. Did you think you could just leave like that? Why I oughta? I wasn't listening to rest because I was too busy focusing on how much my nose hurt. And if you think that you are going to get away with it cuss like that, you may be right. What? And just like that he is calm as when he entered. What was all that? Whatever. My nose still hurts. Be me. Ekelshiaki youngster bishop. And my birthmark. 
the Emperor's holy mark which protects me, is gone. Eaten by a monstrous chaos marine. Don't know what that means for me. Do you still like me dot emperor? But I don't know much of anything, because I'm slipping in and out of consciousness. See my bride, then black. See my massive fucking chest wound, then black. See some goth chick trying to fix me, then black. See my bride again, I think we're somewhere else. I'm not sure because it seems hazier every time I come to. Then it's black again for what seems like forever. I think my holy task may be over, and my life too. Are you there emperor? It's me dot chosen one. Suddenly my eyes shoot open, and I see my bride locked in prayer. Realize I've never seen that before, which is weird. Don't want to interrupt her at first, but then I just have to ask. Has the emperor said anything back? Specifically about my birthmark. Need a new one pls dot aquila. I don't pass out this time. Guess I do still have someone looking out for me. B Marcus. B playing I spy with sister Josephine. I spy, with my little eye, something, pointy. Broken communications receiver pole. Third building to the left. Hot damn that was fast. See I told you you'd get the hang of this mark. He- It's all thanks to my little trick. See when she's looking for something, I look at where her eyes are looking, and that's where it is. Alright my turn. I spy with my little eye, hear the noise of a tank coming. It's the commissars and their bane blade. Oh bugger me, we're all stopped. He just looks at us, and we look at him. So which one of you four deserters is the ringleader here? Nobody says anything. Fessus steps forward. It was me sir, you can shoot me now please. Very well, if that is what you wish. Commissar takes out his pistol and shoots him in the chest. His carapace takes it but it still knocks the wind out of him. But I just came here to let you know that in light of the Blood Raven's assistance and defending Angel's landing, and due to the fact that you haven't actually deserted so much as just got indifferent armor and a paint job, all previous crimes of the Blood Ravens and their subordinates have been pardoned, including yours. Tell your new bosses that they are welcome in this city, so long as they don't go back to pillaging everything. He starts driving off. Oh, and before I forget, if you are looking for the hospital it is 8 blocks down that way and to the left. Your friend is currently recovering there, and as is your palatine, sister of the golden light. And now he actually leaves. So what was all that about? Oh don't worry about it, just a little joke, it's nothing. Help Fessus get back up. Way to take one for the team, even if it wasn't necessary. Wait, did he just say palatine Saris at the hospital? We need to get there now. Be land raider drive Fiorantus. Be carrying Sadukas assault squads, or at least what's left of them. Operation White Elephant had mixed results. Most of the titans were pretty successful. The biggest one however was the where the mixed came in. It was a lot more warp tainted than we had initially thought, only managed to damage the leg, and at the cost of high casualties. Once Sadukas and, and his battle brothers were safely inside, I had to drive around the titan taking poshets at its leg. Thankfully the other Imperial Titan was giving it as good as it got. Bought us enough time to take out the leg and let it finally finish it off. We were pretty sure it was dead, but decided to confiscate all the least warp tainted parts, just in case. Now we're driving back in to see what else needs cleaning up, and also pick up our auxiliaries. Honestly I kinda forgot about them during the whole mess. Feel a little bad about it actually. Be me. The man. The myth. The legend. Alpharius himself. Nah I'm just kidding. Hey can Garris, operator master of Alpha Legion Cell so, our cell, operating on a previously unknown ice world in an attempt to turn it into an Alpha Legion recruiting world with enough forges to outfit a full company of space marines, was going well enough. We had tactically inserted Slanishi and Nerdlight cultists to soften up the population in order to find those strong enough to resist the temptation of chaos. Them always make good space marines for our cause. However, this did not go as planned. God damn it Alpharius dot plan. See this is exactly why we don't insert Sinchi cults anymore Taroim. God fucking damn it. He always fucking finds a way to shit fuck up. Regardless, Imperial forces invaded, found a dormant Necron tomb and decided to wake it fucking up, which caused all kinds of shit according to my sources. Those being Tyranids, Space Marines, Imperial Guard. Titans, more Necrons, more Space Marines, Orcs, more Space Marines. At this current time there are 5 other Alpha Legion cell operators from completely different cells on this fucking planet as I speak. Almost unheard of. Trying to coordinate is a nightmare. However, 
I have a pretty nice as fuck plan. Since the Blood Ravens aren't very well liked on this planet, we should manipulate the Blood Ravens into killing some very important Imperial in order to get some Inquisitors into the system. Have the Blood Ravens investigated for heresy. Then recruit former guardsmen into wearing Blood Ravens armor since some agents have spotted a few stormtroopers doing that already and have then overtake the Ecclesiarchy under the guise of reclaiming relics. Splitting the Inquisitorial forces into two forces, with the Grey Knights held up in orbit interrogating Blood Ravens and Inquisitors dealing with Blood Ravens guard. After that we activate the Inquisitor Sleeper agent who will then call heresy upon the Bishop and his retinue. Then the Blood Ravens guardsmen will change their allegiance to Korn, and start sawing the fuck out of the Inquisitors, who will call double heresy, alerting the Grey Knights further. Then activating our Blood Ravens sleeper agent who will plant Slanishy artifacts and the hold of the battle barge in orbit right as the heresy on the planet's surface goes off. This will all culminate into us making a statue of Robout Gilliman himself, wearing his underwear on top of his head, forcing the Ultramarines to come here as well. Who will witness the Blood Ravens being accused of heresy and will allow us to detonate a big smiley face on the planet. The ensuing argument will finally provide us with a large enough smoke screen to cover up our most important secret. The planet's ice cap to reveal our Gloriana class warship, according to Kikaku hidden in the planet's core since the Horus heresy allowing it to escape and find a more suitable planet for repairs. A perfect plan. Bephesus. Just ran into commissars. Emperor dammit that fucking asshole. Why the flying fuck did he have to shoot me when when he was going to pardon us anyways? Fucking dick. Anyways he was nice enough to tell us where Decorus was. Thank the Emperor, it didn't have to spend any more time babysitting these fucking people it go insane. Responsibility blues dot not worth it. Be running now at this point. Don't even stop to shoot at Xenos heretics whatever's in front of us. Whatever doesn't go down in the first volley of shots gets stampeded and left for dead. No brakes on the guards man train dot toot toot. Get to hospital. Most of the tagalongs break off when we get there, either to see if their friends made it, or because they get shanghaied into guard duty. Push our way in. Find Decorous. Aside from a broken nose, he's looking pretty alright. Thank the Emperor. Everyone made it it. Be Palatine Sarah. Wake up slowly. In the hospital, looks like. Can't feel half of my body from the neck down. Start thinking about how well I can serve the God Emperor's justice with just my left hand. Hospital at Amsin is there. She tells me that's just from the anesthesia. Says I'll be fine, except for a pretty sizable scar down my neck. Ask her if she still has the knife. Says she figured I'd ask for it. Picks it up from the shelf and hands it to me. It's old, well made, woman like. The same length as my catalgen knife, bit thinner, double edged with a spear point tip. The collar of my armor caught the short finger guard and prevented it from sinking in more than a few inches, or I wouldn't still be here. There's some writing crudely but carefully incised along the inside of the fuller. The handiwork of a soldier with plenty of restless downtime. It reads Icebreaker. Bephesus. It's been about a week since the siege. Decorous is about fully healed up, although he still has to go for checkups in case something acts up. Thank the Emperor for modern medicine. Of course the first thing he does as soon as he's healed is punch us all in the face while apologizing. Why? Because the Commissar told him to. Decorous you emperor damned weenie. If you weren't injured it'd give you a thrashing. So as punishment, we brought him along on drinking excursion. I know it doesn't really seem like a punishment by for him it is. Up until now he's never had a drink in his life. So now we figure it's time to break his liver cherry and laugh at him as he fails to hold his drink. Besides, I still owed Marcus those three for fixing up those tankers. Thank goodness the Blood Ravens all gave us a post-battle allowance. I think it's because they felt bad about forgetting us. Phil skipped out on us. Apparently he's going for poetry lessons with that goth chick Maria now. It's good that he's making friends. Still gonna make fun of him for it though. We're not the only ones in the bar. I mean, it's not as crowded as the only bar in the city should be. But then again a lot of people did die. See some of our tagalongs here. They aren't really all that bad a bunch. Marcus and I are talking with Josephine while she drinks her sarsaparilla whatever that is. Apparently her palatine is pretty badly wounded, but is expected to recover. Same goes for Bishop Boy too. She's telling us this really funny story about the time her sister Jessie tried to ride a greater nullock. She's actually pretty alright when she's not trying to push Marcus buttons. Actually she's pretty great when she's doing that too. It's hilarious. Decorous is as expected, a lightweight and dead drunk. 
I almost feel sorry for him. Almost. You know, this is the first time in a long while that I am actually enjoying myself. Be me, the best seneschal in the Ekelshiarchy. I am also a certified badass who takes out space marines, but you'd never know it given the amount of praise that's being heaped on Bishop Burnitall and his not so virginal bride. Sure he cut the thing in half and she broke its axe, but if I hadn't put my life on the line shooting it they'd both be long gone. I tell you I get no respect. Vox cast. Then, for my effort, I get my head kicked in by some psychotic PDF soldier. I don't even know how a PDF dipshit survived this long. If he hadn't blindsided me while I was focused on saving the Akulshiaki, I'd have messed him up. And of course no one lifted a finger to help me. Apparently the bishop's big arm crapped out, but he still had another one. Don't know that the twerp could have handled a bolter with it though. Little guy big gun dot png. It's not all downside though, the little guy is a hell of a lot more generous than the rogue trader I worked for. The drugs they've got me on in this hospital are the closest thing to a good time I've had since I got dropped here. Plus, he's getting the 7 survivors from the 60 that went down decked out in bionics. Even got me on the surgery list. Says we're his elite retinue now. Given the amount of thrones passing through the little twerp's hands, he's lucky to have a guy like me handling the finances. And I'll be happy to return to the standard of living I deserve. Be canonous. Finally out of that damn sewer. Who knew Sister Charlotte was so claustrophobic? Guess it makes sense. She's used to being the tunnel, not the train. Still remnant necrons and feral tyrannids to clear out under the city. Best to take things one step at a time. Head back to the cathedral in a requisitioned black sepulcher hearse. The repressor is still buried in the street somewhere. Realize that I've yet to even see my damn quarters. They're probably buried under a titan's boot by now. Hope I might have an excuse to stay aboard the bright corona instead of in this hellhole. Step around the mound of orcs piled in front of the cathedral entrance. The interior is already being cleared. Order a change of clothes brought and for someone to thoroughly clean my storm bolter in case I need it again in the next hour. Pill for a slice of wedding cake from what's left of the catering table. Order that someone get me a line to strike Commander Morgenson of the Blood Ravens. We've yet to be properly introduced. Be me, Primaris Sergeant, Jara Notorious, Broken Shields Chapter. Been a week since the war ended, so to speak. Of course there are still small pockets of resistance across the planet, but those are easier to take care of. Sadly, I still haven't gotten a yes or no from Sister Olga. She ended up fainting shortly after I asked her out. Most likely, it was from combat exhaustion. I can't imagine what she went through. My quick reflexes allow me to catch her in my arms long before she would have ever hit the dirt. I've got you. Hollow. End up handing her over to one of her fellow sisters before escorting them to the nearest field station. Along the way, discover that the tankers are no longer with us. Guess they didn't make it. PNG. Vow to make sure that they are avenged. By the next morning, my brothers in orbit are finally able to make contact with us. My father is, of course, pissed to no avail by the lack of contact as well as with my report. My father being the battle brother whom adopted me after I was orphaned all those years ago, as well as my company captain. Sorry dad.jpg. After eventually receiving my new orders, as well as a load of new equipment, my men and I ditch our inceptor gear and on aggressor suits, as a nearby have block needs reinforcements. Unlimited firepower. Termi. Spend the next few days traveling across the main city. Gunning down hundreds of scattered Xenos and heretics. Using backpack mounted grenade launchers. To rip apart anything we can't immediately see. Raining bolt shells. Rob out. Occasionally take some time between missions to visit Sister Olga whilst she recovers. Wonder if she'll finally give me an answer when I go visit her in a bit. Be me, Sister Olga. Suggest that we just order the rest of these idiots milling around into the sewers so we can just be done with this whole thing but no. Maybe I know what I'm talking about. I am the one who saved like everyone from orcs and not one of these bitches has said a word. Like they're always trying to bring me down because they're so jealous of me. Instead Canonus drags us back to this cathedral Charlotte ordered. With her in charge no wonder it was so cheap and tacky. Can't buy class.mp3. And why did the Canonus drag us here? So she could have a piece of cake. Like I eat anything and everyone starts acting like they're concerned for me but these bitches consume nothing but garbage. Sorry I am not bulimic dot bitches. And of course she took the last slice. I think the real reason they want to drag this out is to make me miss my date. That cute marine asked me out right in front of them and you can feel the jealousy. 
That's the real reason they always leave me behind. Guys always just pay attention to me which these sluts can't handle. 2 jelly.gif. Sorry girls, real men want real women. Meanwhile, the only attention these twigs get are from the widows Therese creeps on and that twerpy little bishop that always stares at Constanza's tits. Ugh. I am starving though. A lot of this food looks like it's still good actually and like I actually need my nutrients since I do all the work. Be me, Primaris Sergeant, Jaron Artorius. Be a little disappointed. Apparently, just an hour before I got back to the field station, Sister Olga and the others had left on some sort of secret mission. Well this sucks dot emps. I hope it goes well for them and that sister Olga returns. I'd hate for anything to happen to her. Well, whatever the case, I'll be at the field station until the next rotation starts. Hopefully the sisters will return before then. I'd love to spend some time with Olga before we're both sent out to the front again. Be sister Therese. Well it's all over for now at least. Still lots of tyrannids down there but there are a few necrons too. And they are fighting each other for now. I guess the Necrons don't like bugs burrowing through their shit. Anyways turns out that our official quarters were stepped on by a titan, so we're all stuck in whatever hat blocks they have built or dropped in. Gross. I'm wondering how everyone can remain so gung-ho about all this, I wonder how long this will last? I get the idea Crazy Eyes is a little fed up, it was nice to see Charlotte shut the fuck up for a few moments due to pissing herself. Anyways now I can finally get some me time. There's another big set of massive funerals victory parades all through this place. I've organized a little group of war widows together. One of them had a noble husband or something so she has a nice place here. After I'm relieved I head over there for some fun. Things start to get pretty intense, as we're all pressed really close together. As we play some board games and stuff. I'm pretty elite at this shit but I'll let some of them win. I also brought over what cake was left and food which a lot appreciated. Some of them still have families who are stuck here, and the best supplies are going to the military, or Sister Olga. That fat bitch has probably caused countless orphans to starve to death. It's not sappy or anything, I honestly do feel bad for some of these girls. People forget most sisters are orphans too, and I'm one of the few who was old enough to sort of remember my family. But we share food and I encourage them to talk with each other. This one poor girl must be like... 16, and some stupid pdf kid convinced her to marry him and then promptly went off to get flayed by a necron, and now she's all sorts of lost. I do manage to get everyone laughing at one point with scholar stories though. Be Sister Maria, Repench of the Black Sepulcher. It's a morbid irony that an event such as a wedding should end in such bloodshed. Hundreds of thousands have met their deaths, pious soul and foul heretic alike. Our dead sisters sit at the emperor's side, and while we feel joy at knowing that they are now in the light of our lord, the world will be worse for their absence. The matrimonial city is ruined, the efforts of its denizens reduced to naught but rubble and ash blowing on the wind. They plan to rebuild, but it is a futile exercise. Whether by the machinations of heretics, the invasions of Xenos, the corruption of warp spawn or the simple passage of time, it will all be reduced to dust again. Look up on my works ye mighty and despair dot astropath. And yet in spite of this, there will be celebrations tonight. I'm Loud rejoicing in the streets at the union of two pious souls, or drinking with one's comrades, laughing in disbelief at one's survival, or maybe just a quiet evening sharing poetry with a friend. In a universe shrouded in darkness, humanity still dares to shine, if only for an instant. Life is a fleeting illusion, and we are all already dead, yet I can think of no illusion more beautiful or terrible to behold. One might as well enjoy the theater while it lasts. The advantage of writing as a pretentious goth chick is that you don't need to worry about being a pretentious faggot. Be me, Scout Marine Zhang. Somehow be not stepped on by a titan. Somehow be still alive. Be pissed because apparently victory celebrations are for chapters that people know about. Worse, now have actual battle companies of the purple stars landing on planet, and a whole bunch of those fucking black clad librarians. They kinda remind me of those black clad sisters, topkek.vox. So they come in here and I have to report and they all nod and look serious and it's all hrm yes the work of chaos. No fucking shit you cockmonglers, 
What tipped you off? The fucking flaming blood cannons? I swear this is what these guys do. They have schmucks like me schlep around looking for chaos then when we run into it they claim that they foresaw where we were supposed to go. The worst thing is we totally do it so we can be actual brothers. My actual brothers are cocks though. I prefer hanging out with the scouts. The council of librarians we have here claim this planet has a great and terrible destiny. Yada yada. Battleground of all forces of chaos. They go do some alchemy shit or whatever and cast their portents. I am way beyond giving a shit. Fucking sickers. B Princeps Majoris Manoheim. March the ice giants back into position guarding the city. That was fucking rad as fuck guys. I fucking cut off a traitor titan's head with my giant chain blade. And there were fucking huge asteranids everywhere. That feeling when you wrestled a bio titan dot vox. God that was amazing. Everyone were drinking vodka tonight until we go blind. B Marcus. Behave in a cold one with boys, and something girls. You know I am honestly surprised I am even allowed back in this bar after what happened the last time. I guess they must have seen that it wasn't my fault. Either that or they just didn't recognize me. Everyone's having a good time. Lloyd is telling some of the Greener Garden PDF boys about how he single-handedly tracked and captured the rogue space marine dust bunny and daringly defused his cyclonic torpedo. The funniest part is that some of them are actually buying it. Decorous is drunkenly trying, and failing to play darts. Even Fessus looks happy, and he looked about ready to snap before the end of all this. It's amazing what a good night's sleep, a shower, and not being subjected to a constant war zone will do for you. Ick now maybe I've been a little hard on him. I mean, sure I give him a hard time but as our technically leader, he hasn't done all that bad of a job. I mean, hell last time I was in charge I almost got us all killed via banner blade. Well Decorous has passed out, guess that's our cue to leave. Fessus gets up. Sorry sister but it seems Marcus and I are going to have to leave now. We've got to take this lightweight back home. Well don't wanna miss his first hangover. Hey Lloyd, stop spinning yarns and get your ass over here, we're leaving. But I haven't even gotten to the climax yet. You can make up some even more outrageous bullshit for next time. While we're carrying Decorous out of the bar we realize something important. None of us remember to bring our Vox communicators. None of the public transportation has been rebuilt yet. Shit. Guess we're walking. Through the dark dangerous city. Good thing we're not too drunk to aim this time. Gonna have to pick up Phil too. Shit where do those goth girls hang out anyways? Be me, Grafa. Be the last crasher. It's been dark ever since I fell. In more ways than one haha dot png. Figure I must be in the under sewers or something. Whatever dot jifferth. Don't know how long it's been since the wedding. Feels like a while. Good news is I haven't bled out, and my shot wound seems to be healing. Skin is still red around it, but it's scarring real nice. Looks like an open moor. Miss the gang.mp3. Hasn't been dull down here. Bugs are skittering around. First time I saw one, they came out, baying for my hide. Me, being all messed up from my fall, figured I was a goner. Didn't expect the flash of green to literally atomize the bugs. Thank you Mr. Skeletals.jpg. Gotten better since then. I've taken out bugs. Orcams had big dreams, but he didn't actually train with the weapon he wanted. Didn't get the chance. I have. I'm getting better. Started carving the hides off the bugs I kill. Wish I had my knife. Can't even recall its name anymore. Gif. Doesn't matter, they're chit and makes nice armor. Imperials are still down here. Damn bolter bitches want to get into a three-way with the beat boops and the bugs. I stay out of their way. I'm not ready to go after them. Yet. Be future commissar. After about a week of making sure this city can somewhat function properly again decided to have the planetary regiments form up again. Though activity is down again the nids are still present and are likely making a nest underground and we still need to find its hither mind. Worse still though the necrons have also went underground, most likely to the old tomb the previous ones used and this has caused the elder to become active on the planet again with more raids. Always another battle. Vox. Original me decides it will be a good time to put some of the new fag guardsmen into the meat grinder and see if they survive long enough to join the stormtroopers and the veteran regiments. Though this is all put on hold when the planet erupts into another firestorm, starting to think it might be seasonal or something. That and we still have to get our helmets replaced, fucking thieves. Be canonous. Looking from the cathedral window. Some of the sisters of the golden light are hanging captured guard traitors with their lassos from the building across the square. Watch another one drop and the rope go taut. 
on my second glass from the bottle of port I brought for the wedding. Have the sisters bring in the Vox set with the line to the Blood Raven Strike Cruiser. Give my thanks to the most honored battle brother for getting back to me in a timely manner. As I heard, they had some trouble with the Necrons in orbit, and I understand this must be a busy time. Thank him graciously for his generous and well appreciated contributions to the defense of the city. Take a puff from my long LHO stick holder. Tell him I was made aware of the incident involving St. Bridget and one of his Thunderhawks. There are no hard feelings, of course. Accidents do happen. Take a long sip from the glass and then refill it. Inform him that, a starts or not, if another one of his chapter of half-baked blood angels so much as sets one of their grubby fingers on one of my resources again I will personally have him stripped of his armor from the waist down, and slow cook him in his breastplate with a flamer set to low while his own excrement seeps into the cuts made by the freshly sharpened Judas cradle he'll find himself sitting on, and that afterward I will have no qualms about risking the ire of the Ordo Xenos to trade his broiled corpse, gene seed and all, to traz in the infinite in exchange for something more valuable like a toaster oven or a new pair of boots. And that very much includes any of my fucking scarves. Be me, Ekelshiaki Youngster Bishop. I should probably be at least Archbishop Dominicus by now, but I don't need those sort of accolades. I've got my wife. Of course she's not just my wife. As the governor's sole heir, she's now the planetary governess. Powercouple.jpg. And there is so much that we need to do. Given that this planet is now not only the location of a holy site but also the place where the emperor raised one of his living saints, it will become an important shrine world. As such, I put in a request to the Ekelshiaki for a major injection of funds which I'll use to turn this world into a shining jewel in the Imperium. I also put the call out for something much more important. Pilgrims. Hundreds of millions of pounds pilgrims. Come see the holy land. Voxcast. With those, my bai will have no trouble meeting her tithe requirements and we can transform this now temperate world into something valuable. It could become the staging ground for massive crusades throughout this sector. Using our combined influence, we order the wreckage and equipment from the battles seized. Some of it is used to stock our armories, some is sold to the Admech to improve relations, and the rest is moved through our Seneschal's road trader contacts. The funds from that go towards restoring and cleansing the governor's mansion and the city around it. My fighting days may be behind me with my birthmark gone, but with every major threat to the planet defeated that shouldn't be a problem. I am sure it will be fine dodgif. There is so much good that we can still do, for the planet and for the emperor. And between me and the governess, we have more than enough power and money to do it. Be me, planetary governess. Got myself a husband, a planet and a shrine on the latter, so here could start some good business. The Seneschal also sees this, how nice of him to help out, knowing him he will maybe slack some money off for himself, but he gets the job done pretty good, so I'll let that slide. As long he doesn't get the Inquisition on my door. Things are going pretty neat so far. Starting the godlife.png. Repairs are in full action, 100% employment rate through it. Partly because half of the planet's population is dead or lost, but, details.png. On the mornings I recite the thought for the day on the holocast, on the evening babe reads some verses from the Lictitio. Despite mortality rates, civilian morale seems to go up, in other cases, arbites your friend and helper. Gif. Send gifts a loot from the city ruins to all the helping hands, true servants of the emperor must be rewarded. Porno slates, milder booze and extra rations for the guard. Darning machines, yarn and twelve repressors to the sisterhood of the ermine mantle. A fuck ton of beef jerky and banjos for the golden light vicarus. Mascara, eyeshadow and raven guard poems for the sisters of the black sepulcher. Toasters and some market rights for the admech. Discussion about future recruitment rights and supplies for the astards. And some awesome religious stuff for the zealots. Babe will have an idea. Best couple indeed. PNG. Be original commissar. Planet finally has a few safe zones that the guard can use and for once an official government. Still doesn't change the fact that most of the countryside is a clusterfuck and there is an increasing Xenos and heretic presence on the planet but can't complain. Plus the new governess is actually more competent than her father, especially her brother. They even gave me troops some extra food which is nice for moral, though I wish they would stop giving them alcohol. Drunk guardsmen don't last long in the field. Still have to talk to the couple about the continuing the guard's presence on this planet and if it's possible to convert the zealots into guard regiments even if they completely convert it into a 
Shrine World might get awkward with the whole shooting the new leader's brother when this shit show begun but hopefully that is water under the bridge. Did make sure to offer both of them rare suits of power armor and other gifts in case she still holds a grudge. Bribery solves any problem. Thrones. Be sister Charlotte. Finally be out of that horrible place. Finally they have water running here. Fuck everything. Take charge on getting the rest of the sisters in place and organized. Looks like we'll be here a while. See that we got a lot of dining machines and yarn. What the fuck? Is this a joke? Oh well. Start making myself a new cape. Yeah, I can play semstress. Just doesn't come up often. Fucking Therese could help run this shit but she's often molesting war widows. The stupid dyke. Honestly though, considering how scholar was and the teachers we had, surprised more of us didn't turn out like her. Hey, my dislike of tight spaces is probably because of when sister Tefania and her slut friends put me in a locker. Jokes on her, I let her stormtrooper boyfriend do me in the ass and she got eaten by a haruspex. Oh man what happened to him? Oh yeah, had his face melted off by a spore mine. Shoulder just let your boyfriend try anal Tefania, then maybe you'd still be alive. Really makes you think. I'm Bridget. Things have calmed down a bit here. I'm spending a lot of time in the hospital and the medical tents. Talking to sister Sarah in the recovery ward a bunch, she has a lot of good stories. Having a living son around seems to help people get better. I make sure to bless everybody as much as I can. Sister Tamsin says that it might be mostly the placebo effect but I'm supposed to keep that to myself. Asked her about one-ups. She said that's not how it works. Probably. Her expert medical opinion is for me to avoid dying as much as I can. That makes sense to me. I hear that they're going to turn the planet into a shrine world like back home on Thomas. Sounds like a lot of work, but I know we're up to it. Things have been rough around here lately, but I know that they'll get better. Well, there you guys go. That's the end of thread two. Now, look, don't worry. There's still plenty more. There's like six threads of the cold shoulder. So don't worry. It's not over yet before anyone loses their mind. But hey, if you've been here for this long and you've been enjoying it as much as I have, you know, maybe you should try out like, you know, join in yourself because it's the type of thing anyone can join in with. That's what I love about it. Like, you know, there's no little restrictions friendly. You know, now the cold shoulder is finished at the minute. But there's three active ones over on Quest, like, you know, 40k ones that, like, you know, if you're interested in it, I would definitely recommend checking out. Um, great fellas, all of them. Um, I really like them, so I do. And, like, you know, they're willing to actually sit down and help you. If you're, if you're interested in getting into it, they will sit down and, like, you know, show you how the game works. And, you know what I mean? It's a lot of fun. So, like, I'll put their discords down below. Um, there's three of them, as I say. The Penal Regiment, the Inquisitor Regiment, and the Renegade Regiment. The Penal Regiment has been going for about three years i did a video on it a wee while ago um i might get back into like doing them but they take a very long time to like you know get coherence and make it into like a full video it's, it can be very difficult but no so the penal regiment has been as i say been going for three years the inquisitor one has only just started there about a month ago um it's kind of like a prequel to the penal regiment definitely worth checking out and then there's also the renegade regiment which is kind of like a split off of the penal regiment like, like you know honestly i'll just put their discords down below and whenever one you think you're most interested in joining in go for it honestly um as always i don't i don't think i need to say this don't get on like a dickhead to these people because they're actually very nice and like you know i think you can have a lot of fun with them so definitely something if you're interested in it check it out yourself it's a part of like you know the 40k hobby that i don't think a lot of people even know about be honest with you like you know I, it's a really obscure thing that i think more people should get into if that's what they're interested in, of course. But either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and be sure to click that notification bell to stay up to speed with all my other videos, and I'll see you later. If you haven't already, check out my Redbubble portfolio. You might just find something you like. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please?